Hi there, and welcome to Chasing the Twist. Today, I got a package. Today, I finally received my CRUD Road Racer Mark III rain guards, or mud guards, depending on where you live, or fenders. And I'm gonna put them on my felt F55X. Come along. So what's um, unique about these fenders, rain guards, mud guards, is that they stick to your bike with adhesive and these posi lock strips rather than using um, braces um, and bolts and so on. In the package come two fenders. They're the same. To the front one you add this little duck bill and to the rear you add this, I'm not sure what to call it, extension, I guess. Looking at the instructions, first step is to remove this backer and stick it on. Two and thousand three. That's the front. The rear fender, you add this extension and then you use this nut nut and bolt to put it together. Let's go down to the bike. In the kit, in the kit uh, comes an alcohol wipe, which I'm, I'm quite happy with. I uh, had to search around for alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and uh, turns out I didn't need to. So I'm gonna wipe the inside of the front forks, and the rear ports. So you don't want to use brake clean, even though I have a lot of it, um, because that could damage your paint. Brake clean is a little bit too strong. Hmm, this is a bit more difficult than I expected. Because of, the, because of the shape of my front forks on the inside. The outside is nice and flat, but the inside isn't. Necessary. I don't know if these. I don't know if those are necessary. Let's move to the back. Right. So a similar process. So now I have a choice. So the front extension is rubbing a bit on the tire. I am. I have a choice. I have a little cross support in the in the back fork. I could try to run it in front of that, trim it and run it in front of that. But then part of the frame would get dirty. But maybe that's okay. Actually, I can't do that. My adhesive strips came off when I tried to reposition the fender. Um, so I need to do something about that. The front one is only rubbing on the felt weather stripping pads. This rear run one was rubbing a lot up through here. So now I have a little rubber support on the wheel or on the tire to hold it up. Maybe I'll, I have another one. So 
So I'm going to, um, this comes with slots for a zip tie. I'm going to try to not cut it, uh, or try it without cutting it, and but pulling, using the zip tie to kind of pull it away from the tire. And I think that might just do it. These are the anti-vibration dampeners. Oh, I suppose I'd put them right here, like where the where it touches the frame. That's the install of the Crud Road Racer Mark III mud guards or fenders. On a scale from one to really annoying, I would rate this at annoying. Um, they're a bit finicky. The adhesive strips, I found that using an awl to separate the two uh, Posilock, Posilock's a 3M product, but they use a similar thing. Uh, the Velcro strips basically to separate those using a, an awl or a um, some other similar I have tested and the only place where it's rubbing is where it's kind of supposed to rub which is the uh, it's the weather stripping felt tabs which are meant to kind of stop flinging water from coming out the sides The, the rear one was more annoying than the front one, just because, I think because of this extension, the zip tie, stuff like that. So at this point, I can't not recommend them because there aren't any other options that I could find. Um, so if you want mud guards, these seem to be it uh, for a more road bike or, yeah, for a road bike that doesn't have the, the places to secure a more traditional mud guard. They're lightweight, they aren't that expensive. I did have to wait a while to ship them from the UK. And they look promising. Thanks for watching the install and I'll update you as I ride them in the rain.